today we're going to talk about the new cybersecurity law in China and how it affects um, businesses in China, which most of the people, um, a lot of you will have work for companies which have businesses in China, and uh, given the increasing importance of China, therefore the cybersecurity law becoming a very topical issue. Um, so I'm going to start by some discussion on the novelty of, of the new cybersecurity law. Um, it's an umbrella statute for cybersecurity regulation that came into effect in 1st June of 2017. Uh, by that, we mean that um, this law encapsulates um, very, a very broad range of aspects of uh, cyber regulation covering um, network security, data protection, data transfers, all sorts of areas to do with um, cyber security and cyber networks. Um, however, it doesn't contain all um, detailed principles of how, how these, um, these operations are regulated because, uh, because many of its, its areas will be, will be um, further developed in implementing rules. Some of the implementing rules have been issued and some of them are in draft form, some of them are in advanced draft form. And um, this method of regulating um, cybersecurity issues is rather unique among other countries. For example, the EU having um, different regulations dealing with network security in the telecoms package and different data protection regulations and data protection directive. Likewise, the US has a more industry-focused uh, approach. Um, while there are sector regulations on data protection on, on cybersecurity in China, um, they are underpinned now by this um, uh, th this body of principles in, in the cybersecurity law, and that's what we're going to now come to. So in order to understand um, some of the key messages of the cybersecurity law, there are two key concepts here. Uh, one is uh, the concept of a network, and, and here we mean um, a system that includes computers or other information terminals that collect, store, transmit, exchange, or process data. So you can see it's very wide definition. Um, even two or three computers linked up in a, in a room could constitute a network under cybersecurity law. And the second principle is what, what we call a network operator. Again, that's um, very wide, covering not only your typical internet service provider, but all other businesses who, who own or administer or provide services through uh, the networks as defined. So. Um, so on one hand, you might say the cybersecurity law applies almost to anyone operating in China. And so therefore, we have to look at the other concept of the, of the uh, obligations, which is they are very much based on a segmented or tiered level um, kind of regulation, by, by which I mean that um, the more important your network or data uh, is perceived under the, the regulations, then the more onerous the obligations will be. It does not mean that every single uh, onerous obligation under the law and its accompanying regulations will necessarily apply to every business in China. And so you see from the, the picture here, um, the, 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 the key um, concern of the law is, is the networks uh, transmitting of data and, and products and services um, relating to the operation of networks. Um, one important sort of parameter that uh, this presentation is going to take is that we're not going to cover too much of licensed activities, uh, by which I mean you know, for activities that you need to apply for a, a telecoms license or an internet connection license. Those are not really the focus of this presentation. Uh, we're, more, we're more concerned with touching on uh, business issues, net issues relating to ordinary businesses operating networks in China rather than providing internet services as part of their core business. So you can see on the right, there's a picture of river and some stones, which people are trying to cross. And that is an ancient Chinese proverb, crossing the river by touching the stones. And this is uh, very much the approach that the Chinese regulators have taken in regulating cybersecurity is rather than wait for all of the detailed rules and regulations to be in place, um, they have issued the law first and then leaving some of the the key detailed implementing rules to be worked out um, as, 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 uh, as we go, as the regulators come to enforce the system. And um, there is a time frame of uh, one year from the date it was implemented. So the expectation is that by June 2018, the bulk of the implementing rules will be in place. 